Hey guys, Biggs here. Welcome to part seven of Rare and Collectible PS3 games. I uh, just want to thank you guys firstly for the um, support. Again, we passed 10,000 views on YouTube. That's awesome. My friends, um, you guys have been crazy on part six. It's only been up for about 24 hours and it's already over 100 views. Crazy. Um, so yeah, let's start off with episode seven. Now we're still on the D's, guys. So it's going to be a long series. Uh, you guys Enjoying it, so keep pumping them out once a week. Firstly, we have um, Destroy All Humans, Path of the Furon. Actually, a really fun game. Uh, if you haven't played Destroy All Humans, it was on the PS2 originally. Basically, the premise is you're an alien, you run around with like a little ray gun and you destroy the humans. It's really fun. Next, we have. Digimon All Star Rumble. Um, so if you're in America, the American copy doesn't actually have a manual. The PAL copy does, so keep that in mind. Uh, this is I've seen this in the wild once, I believe. It's pretty hard to come by. Uh, Digimon game. I've never actually played it. But if you know what Digimon's like, it's like a Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon type card based game with monsters and stuff based off a TV show. Yeah, that's Digimon. Um, next we have a little series of games. So it's the Disgaea series. So we've got Disgaea D2. Uh, we've got Disgaea 3. Uh, these are all NIS titles. NIS being one of the... um. Collectible publishers, JRPGs and RPGs, we spoke about previously. Here we have Disguise 4. And lastly, which I really recommend picking up if you can find it, is the Disguise Triple Pack, which includes the three games I just showed you guys. And you can find this pretty cheap, to be honest. You can still find it for under $20. Um, there are a couple more triple packs. One I've already showed, the Artilia triple pack. It's a little bit more expensive, and the hardest one to find is the um, Hyper Neptunia collection, which we'll get to when we get to the letter H. Um, next, I have two kids' games. So, first one's a little bit more common than the other one, but it's still a collectible game, in my opinion, so I'm going to talk about it. Got Toy Story 3. I mean, you can pick this up for definitely under $15 in a good condition complete. It just might be a little bit harder to find. And the next game's a lot harder to find. It is Toy Story Mania. Um, I've seen this in the wild once, and it was damaged. I bought this off eBay a long time ago for a pretty good price. Um, it's in a plastic sleeve, so I'm not going to take it out. Yeah, this is Toy Story Mania. Uh, if you see this under $30, guys, I'd pick it up complete in good condition. Because, again, it's one of the harder-to-find kids' games on the PS3. Uh, next, we have a PAL exclusive. and uh, This is only released in Europe. It is Doctor Who, The Eternal Clock. Uh, based off the TV show of the same name, Doctor Who, obviously. Um, I haven't played it, but if you're a fan of the show, I'd definitely pick it up. Um, it's actually quite difficult to track down if you're outside of Europe, it can be quite expensive. Um, I had a good friend from the UK get me a copy really cheap, but um, copies on eBay are pretty expensive. So yeah, let's talk to who goes. Um, there's a bunch of Dragon Age games for the PS3, I just want to show a couple that I recommend picking up. Firstly we have Dragon Age 2, the Bioware Signature Edition. Um, this is an NA copy. I'm not 100% sure if it had a PAL release. Um, if you guys could let me know in the comments, it would be great. Uh, it includes Dragon Age 2 as well as all the DLC. Um, I wasn't a fan of Dragon Age personally, but I know a lot of you guys really like it. So it's the Bioware Signature Edition. Um, and next we have Dragon Age Origins, and it includes the Awakening expansion pack as well as the single game. Now, there's also a standalone copy of Dragon Age um, Origins Awakening, which I believe is actually harder to find than this, and I haven't got it at the moment. 
I just recently tracked it down, sent it to a friend in America who's got a big package for me, and he'll be sending that to me in the next couple of weeks. Um, you guys can see the holes in the shelf where we pulled out all the D games for today's episode. This map set might actually be quicker than the other ones, guys, which isn't a problem. Um, only be around 10 minutes, I'm happy with. So the next lot of games are all from the one series. Um, I believe they're all pretty collectible. They're not rare. They're not rare at all, but they are very collectible. Um, a lot of people who don't collect PS3 games would want these just because of what they are. Um, yeah, the Dragon Ball Z games. So firstly, we've got Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse. Um, then we've got Ultimate Tenjaki, if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, we've got the Budokai HD Collection, which this can go for about 30 or $40. So if you find it under that, I'd definitely pick it up. Um, I've got the American copy here. Uh, next we have Burst Limit. This is a little bit cheaper. It's about a $10 game, this one. Uh, Battle of Z. And finally, we have Raging Blast and Raging Blast 2. So again, I'll just quickly show you guys all the Dragon Ball Z games. There's seven of them for the PS3. And um, I definitely recommend trying to get all of them. If you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z or not, they're definitely collectible games. And Dragon Ball Z games tend to hold their value down the line. Especially look at the PS2, there's some... 50 plus still on Dragon Ball Z games, which is pretty crazy. Alright, guys, moving on. The next game we're going to talk about is an Atlas title. It's actually one of my favourite games for the system. It's called Dragon's Crown. This is the first one, I believe it was remastered and done again on PS4. I think I've got a copy of it. Um, I just haven't played it in my copy. Uh, it's an Atlas published title, so you guys know that Atlas titles, like NAS titles, Tend to become more collectible and expensive down the line. Um, so this is like a tabletop RPG. It's multiplayer, meaning you can play it with someone on the couch next to you. I've done with friends before. It's really fun. The characters are really quirky. They're out there, they're like boobs and big muscles and mammoth. Yeah, this is Dragon's Crown, guys. Um, copies today, quite expensive. If you find one under $30, I would pick it up. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to track this down via collection. And so the next game I want to talk about, there's two. One's rarer than the other one. I'll talk about that one in a second. Uh, firstly, we have Dragon Guard 3. This is the American version. Now, this is quite an expensive game. I'm talking like $30, $40, and it's becoming quite hard to find. It was a late release title for the PS3. Um, based off the Nier series, it sort of runs with near um, and on the back of the success of near or somewhere on PS4 copies of this have gone up in values so you can find Dragon Guard 3 guys I would definitely pick it up um, this is actually the, a blue spine copy now this was released in North America and in POW it wasn't it didn't have a standard release however it did get a collector's edition which didn't have a disc. So there's a downloadable code with the collector's edition in Europe, which is super, super rare. Um, I haven't got that, but I do have something that's not as rare, but it's pretty cool. This is the standard alone black label copy that was released in Asia, but this is actually completely in English. See, so yeah, I tracked this one down so I could have the black spine as well as the red spine. Um, yeah, so that's Dragon Guard 3, North American and Asian versions. Uh, the next game we're going to talk about is a kids game, which is one of the rarest kids games, in my opinion, on the PS3. It is DreamWorks Superstar Cards. Yeah. Um, I actually tracked a copy down about a manual, and I didn't have a manual for a very long time. And I was going to pay a lot of money to get another copy. And a friend found the manual for me. So, so relieved. So that's DreamWorks Superstar Cards, guys. It's got Shrek, um, Madagascar characters, Monsters vs. Aliens on them. 
And um, if you guys could find this, I, I would say under thirty dollars, complete pick it up. Um, I was willing to almost pay forty dollars for it. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, I've never actually seen a copy in the wild, so good luck on that one. Guys. Um, the next couple of games I'm going to talk about never used to be rare, but because of recent events, they are becoming, in my opinion, artificially rare. Um, so, first one is DuckTales Remastered. This is the disc version. Now, if you guys know, this was pulled from the PSN store about three or four months ago. Literally, the day it was pulled, copies on eBay were selling for upwards of $50. And they seem to be maintaining that price today. You can definitely find a copy under thirty dollars, guys. This is DuckTales Remastered, released in PAL North America. You shouldn't have too much trouble finding a copy. Um, you won't see them in the wild too often, but you still will see them in the wild. This next game is a little bit harder to find. Uh, my copy is sealed. It is DuckTales Remastered with the download code, and it includes the collectible pin. Zoom up on. Now, it hasn't got a regular seal, it has this, um, like, shrink wrap seal, which a handful of PS3 games did have, mainly the ones with download vouchers. So if you find a copy that's sealed and you're like, it's not a normal seal, that's why, guys, um, it's got the shrink wrap seal. Yeah, that's the, um, DuckTale games, and, um... Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive now because they're not available on the PSN store. So if you want a copy, you need a physical one. Um, so the last game we're going to talk about today is in a big series. I could have, to be honest, I could have spoke about every single one of these games um, because they are quite collectible. However, you can still find them for $5 each. So I'm just going to show you guys the one that I believe is truly rare. Uh, anyway, in Australia it definitely is. I had a lot of trouble finding this game. Um, I ended up getting it in a lot for $5. So it's part of the Dynasty Warriors series. It's Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. Now this wasn't released in North America. So if you want a copy in North America, you have to import it. Um, artificially, that's going to make the price higher than the other Dynasty Warriors games. For um, in Australia, copies, there's literally one on eBay and it's more than $100. Um, yeah, so this is Dynasty Warriors Gundam Reborn. If you can see a copy for a good price, guys, in complete, definitely pick up. I reckon. Um, so yeah, that concludes episode 7 of Rare and Collectible PS3 Games. Um, figs. I really hope you guys have been enjoying this series. Leave a comment if you haven't in below. I'll say hello to you. Um, I want to know if any of you guys have picked up any games. So I would love to hear if someone's picked up one, even one game from my series. That would really make my day. That would be awesome. Um, in terms of me, guys, I've now streaming exclusively on Twitch, so if you want to catch some of my streams, be sure to check me out on Twitch. Um, still really active on Instagram. I'm on there every day. I'm on Twitter as well as Facebook, guys, and um, you guys know we're on in one YouTube once a week now. Yeah, until next week, guys. Um, I'm happy collecting, and I'll see you later.